Hey guys, and welcome back to Witcher 3. My name is Jagoras, and I want to continue with the quest to find Tamara and Anna. Uh, but first, I need to go investigate Ciri's room, as I have a side quest to do that. So, I wanted to go find Anna, the wife, but it seems like I'm not going to be able to do that until I either investigate the witch or investigate Tamara, who is in Oxenfurt. So, I actually think I want to go speak to the witch, and we'll see what's going on there before we go all the way to Oxenfurt. Because it's far away, and I can't be bothered. Ooh, my stash. What is the point of this? I guess I can store things, but I don't really know what you're supposed to store in your stash. I guess I can store like these florins and stuff, but they don't really weigh much, so it's not really an issue. I'm just gonna leave this alone for now. Anyway, let's investigate the room with our witcher sense. Wrong button. There we go. So there's a book. I'm gonna pick up the book. Come here. The Natural Obscurity of Curses. We'll take that. The Natural that. Obscurity of Curses by Lydia Van Breedevoort. Where'd Siri get this? To my dear friends, Philippa and Anna, from Count Laguave, Minister of blah, 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 blah. Whoever thinks curses are only ever manifestations of one's being ill, one being's ill will towards others is sorely mistaken. Shockingly commonplace are reports of curses cast unwillingly on oneself or on objects in one's immediate environment. The consequences of doing so can be difficult to predict. In many cases, they lead to harm or even the death of the person afflicted by the curse, or of the people spending time with the object or being on which the curse fell. This is why it is so essential to take preventative measures to safeguard oneself as though, as thoroughly as possible against the casting of curses. An absolute minimum, Madame blah 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 recommends cleansing oneself of all negative thoughts, striving to be one with the world and achieving harmony between body and mind. We also have a letter of safe conduct. In his name, we can cross the Pontar. Seems good. Hmm. So... A dedication to the Baron and his wife. Seems they had friends in high places in Vizima. I'm thinking then that maybe Siri is cursed or someone she knows is cursed. Siri must have used these. Looks like she left in a hurry. These clothes in Siri's room. I, I I can't believe Siri used them. Ooh, what's this? The spinning top. Gritka's toy. Okay, so we, we found the toy. So now we have to go to the kitchen and talk to Gretka, which was the girl that Siri helped out um, in the woods from the with the werewolves. Do you remember? I remember. So you're Gretka. I am. And you're Geralt. No, I'm Gerald. No. Because she white hair and a medallion shaped like a wolf. Siri told me about you. She's quite uh, astute. Let's find out what else Siri said. You and Siri talked a bit, didn't you? We did. Did she say where she was going or what she came here to look for? She said she was looking for you and a sorceress. But you're here, so I guess she didn't find you. I wonder if she helped that friend of hers. So there we go. So the friend is maybe someone who had the curse on them. Uh, we'll talk about the toy first. Look familiar? My top. Where'd you find it? Siri's room. We'd play in her room sometimes. I was sad one day, and Siri carved it for me. Such a shame she had to leave. That spinning top was massive. I got 100 XP for that. Freaking pro. Do you know where Siri is? No. One day I brought her breakfast and she was already gone. The Baron told me she'd left. She didn't, didn't even say goodbye. I did. But he said I was too little and I wouldn't understand. But Siri left me a gift. A gift? Yes, this. A green stone. Beautiful as gifts go. Hide it well. Don't show it to anyone. It's worth a lot. See, we didn't even get to see the stone. That's how much it's worth. It's a very valuable stone. Siri wanted to help a friend. Any idea who it was? What do you mean, who? Her friend. She said he was in trouble and that she had to save him. That does not help me. Thanks, Gritka. Have fun. But I'm not playing. I'm helping. Well, you're not helping that much. I like how it's automatically made the next quest. Find the witch. Okay, I'm going to leave the weirdo alone. And get on with it. I feel like Geralt can't be that good at interacting with children. Find the witch on your own or ask the residents of Midcops about her. Okay, we can do that. I wonder if I can fast travel. Let's go find out. Guys, bandits! I can't I can't hit them very well. Right, come here, come here, come here. Oh my god, how on earth do you fight people on horseback? This is awkward as awkward as heck. Hiya! There we go. Look at that. Well, he had it coming. He tried to cut me. Oh, come on. Really? We can hunt down this guy here. Jesus Christ, Gerald. Learn to hit. 
Oh, he fell off his horse. The problem is I don't want to be off a horse. Like, I know fine well that you can't fight people off horse when you're on horse. This is, we're just riding around each other. Can I just chop this guy, please? There we go. Come here, come here you. We'll get this one then. Come on. hi -ya! There we go. Good job. And this one. Apparently it's way easier if you just go slow. Oh, his arm came off. And this guy too. Missed. Right, Roach, just, you're gonna have to wait for it, okay? Hiya! Seriously. Can I use my, like, uh, ranged weapon? Oh, but if I stand still, it's easy for him. I don't think I can use my ranged weapon. Can I, like, magic? Oh, come on. I like how, how Roach can jump. If this guy could stop trying to chop me up and just let me chop him up. <laughs> this is so dumb. It seems like this game is not designed for horseback combat. H horseback combat. There we go. Right. Done. Slow now. Good job, Roach. I'm gonna have to eat this bread. Right, let's quickly loot these guys. I don't really know why there was just random bandits. I'm guessing that's just like a feature of the game. Occasionally there are bandits. Oh, maybe did I help this guy? Oh no, he's a bandit. Can I... Can I mind control him? Oh. Whoop! There we go. That works. Oh, no mercy, you guys. I was like, oh, this guy. This is the guy I saved from the bandits. Apparently not. Apparently I did not save anyone. Right, let's, let's grab this molly arrow. Let's loot him. Uh, there's one over here. Oh, you've been looted. Loot this. Seems good. And over here, there's someone else. But what was the point of the bandits? Did I not save anyone? Apparently I didn't even save anyone, like, I just killed some bandits. Can I steal their horses? Let's borrow this horse for the time being. Sorry, Roach. Now I got- I got this white horse. Oh, that horse is black! I want a black horse! Nah, it's fine, we'll, we'll stick with the white horse. There is nothing going on here that the bandits are doing. Okay, right, on to the quest. I think I'll name you Loach. Okay, so here we are in mid cops. <laughs> Why is the horse freaking out? Like, just chill out. We're just gonna quickly grab all of these uh, things. There was a contract there, I'm guessing to kill something. But now we have to like, investigate and talk to peasants. We're simple folk, we seek no quarrel. Well, I need to find a witch. New con quest, contract, Jenny of the Woods. Is, is Jenny a witch by any chance? Let's have a quick look and find out what that is. That'll be it, witcher contracts. Jenny, what are you? Talk to the Ilderman of Midcops. Oh, that's a monster, so that's not a witch. Okay, we can do that later then. Right, so who's gonna tell me about who's gonna tell me about this witch? Aha! This person. Tell me about the witch. Back to the witch. My cure of laziness. Greetings, ma'am. Good day to you, sir. Need something? Well, yes. I am a witcher. I need to find a witch. It's quite simple. Got a matter for your village witch. Know where I can find her? I didn't bother with her myself. But ask my man. He'll know. Twerked his back so bad last week he could hardly move. So I sent him to the witch. Came back sprightly as a foal. That's because they boned. In the yard, no doubt. Pain's gone, but sleuth's set in now. Should be hunting foxberries to feed our young'uns. Marion's lad. Now that man, he knows how to provide for his family. Got some water rats last. They had food for days. Delicious water rats. I like how she's like, go talk to my husband. This is not, this is not helpful. We're gonna quickly sharpen my items. Right. Tell me, tell me about the witch. Heard you know where to find the local witch. Who told you that? Your wife. Your wife. Daft wench. Leave me be and don't listen to that nattering sow. We've not had a witch, shaman, nor cunning wench in ages. <sighs> Why do I have to pay him? Tell me about the witch. Would a few crowns refresh your memory? Oh, well, if that's how you put it. Know the small pond near the village? Path leads off from it. Follow that till you come across a lone rock. Walk around that, then to the woods. Find the old cart. You're there. Thanks. It's just... Don't harm her, sir. Word of your kind's reached these parts. 
My kind. What's that supposed to mean? Well, the witch burning kind. Ah, oh dear. I'm not a witch hunter. I'm a witcher. Witch hunters have been here already. Nay, but we've heard tell of them. So, when I spied you coming, swords and all, straight away, I thought tales must be true. I'm a witcher, not a witch hunter. Hmm? What? Not one and the same? No. Anyway, we will not harm the witch. No need to worry. I'm not out to hurt your witch. Ooh, a weight off me heart, sir. She only arrived a short while ago, but she's frightfully wise. Even pleasant on the eyes. I feel like I'm skinny. Told you they Thanks boned. Thanks for your help. Farewell. See, we don't harm witches, because the thing with witches, right, is even if they turn you into a newt, it's fine, because you will get better. If so, pop culture leads me to believe. Right, hiya! Oh, wait, not that way. Hiya! There we go. Right, where is the witch? Somewhere here. Follow the road and the pond and something like that. I can't remember what they said. A road and a rock and a pond. Right, we can probably just run here. I don't feel like it's going to be that far. There's the rock. And then we got to find the cart. There's the boulder. Now, right. Do you reckon if cart. you replayed this, like, you could just avoid giving him 50 crowns and just follow this? And just, like, find her straight away? Like, if you knew where she was? Where are the herbs? I need to make sure I get herbs. Because otherwise it's like, make a potion, and then I have, like, no herbs. Because I'm too busy, like, gallivanting. Uh-oh. Are they drowners? They look like drowners to me. Oh, neckers! It's time to get naked. Let's go. Oh, I should probably be more careful here. Yeah, we should definitely be more careful. So we're going to need to use B a bit to dodge. We're going to eat some bread while we're at it. Uh, we accidentally put our sword away, which I do every time I try and eat some bread. We can kill this one. There we go, dodge. Oh, get wrecked. That was beautiful. Right, come here, Necky. Come here. Chop. Chop. The cart. Which is hut is somewhere nearby. I'm wondering if by any chance the Neckers were trying to kill the witch. It's fine. There's clearly been a Necker warrior here, and you know that because there were more than three Neckers. Hashtag just Gwent jokes. Uh let's get this. I don't really understand the mutagen thing. I think I can use them to like make things that like buff me. But we'll see. I'm gonna eat some more bread. I like how all these neckers are here and the hut is like right there. But no, the neckers aren't like molesting the hut. They're just trying to kill me. Your friendly neighborhood witcher. Right, let's see what's going on. Oh, there's a whole freaking team of people here. Yes. The cows are wheezing. Won't rise from the barn floor. Puss streams from her snout. Do I look like a dairy maid to you? No, miss, but you know things. Tis our last cow. None other left in the village. Rest died of hunger. Or soldiers let him off. Oh, we're as good as dead without her. Should have taken better I care of your cow. Herbs. Mix them with water drawn from the spring at midnight, then make the cow drink them. But first, you must clean out your barn, thoroughly. Is that clear? Thank you, miss. A thousand thanks. Enough. I've had my fill for the day. Go home. That's how you say thank you, like, thank you very much in Norwegian, is uh, tusen takk. Is, it literally means a thousand thanks. Like, when you're thankful in Norway, you are very, very grateful. This is Norwegian lessons with Jagerus. Tusen takk. Uh, right, I'm gonna stop stealing her herbs. I always heal steal everyone's herbs, but that'll do. Right, where did the witch go? Search the hunt using your witcher senses. Hmm. I wonder where where she has Ordinary gone. Ointment. Nothing special. Oh, maybe she turned into a frog. Cause we saw her go back in here, so she has to be in here. Oh look, a trap door. Oh, where's she run off to? Oh, why is she running away from me? Let's just have a look at her books. Hmm. Managed to amass quite a book collection. I like how she trusts me not to steal all of her things. Like this piece of paper. Yoink. Right. Into the into the cave. The cave of wonders. Oh, well that didn't work. I was trying to like use the ladder, but it's just like nah. So there's gonna be like a secret door. There's always a secret door. Da, da, da. I mean otherwise why would there be a Ooh. Found a manuscript. 
I guess we'll just keep looting. Journeyman's repair kit, so I can repair my weapon on the go. That's useful. Another manuscript, a, a glyph. Oh, maybe she's not down here. Winds howling. Hmm? Let's put out these flames. I don't know what it does. Where the heck is she? Where's this heckin' witch? I don't plow in though. See, I told you I'd use that as a as a emphatic word. I told you last time. Where's the plowing witch? I guess we'll close this. So then she doesn't know we've stolen all her things. Oh, I can't close it. Right, where have you where have you bloody well gone? Aha, uh -huh, a sneaky candle. Um, normal candle. Then why am I examining it if it's a normal candle? Um, normal candle. Is there like a sneaky candle somewhere? Let's have a look. Ordinary ointment. Nothing special. I don't understand. Where have you gone? Hmm. Hmm. Recipe for black eyeliner. Freaking ka-ching, you guys. That is exactly what I need in my life. I'm gonna look fabulous for days. If it's a normal candle, then why don't I light it? Where is she gone? Do I examine outside? It says, search the hut. And I felt like she should have been, you know, down, but maybe not. Mm. No, it doesn't look like she's out here. What am I missing? I'm using my Witcher sense, so there should be something like glowing. She jump out the window. Hey, is she in the bathtub? Oh, we can put her in there and if she floats, she's a witch. Aha! A skull. Well, that's useful. Powerful aura. Must be some artifact. Or... Don't touch it. So this is where she disappeared to. Oh no! A portal! If Gwent's told me anything, it's that Geralt hates portals. Like, legitimately, that's all he has to say. Can I can I not examine this screen thing? It was glowing red. Apparently not, right? In we go. This, this can only end badly. Where on earth am I? Well, well. Nice. Hey, a snow hare. Let's kill it. Seriously? Snow hare OP, you guys. you got to be kidding me. Look at this. Oh, fine, I'll put my I'll put my sword away. Right. Oh, there's so many. There's so many herbs. I just want to gather them all. I was wondering how long it would take you, Geralt. I'm upstairs. It's Kira Metz. She is a Gwent card. And since open beta, I have no idea what she does. Actually, since closed beta, I have no idea what she does. She wasn't a commonly played card. Right. Where are you, Kira? Come out, come out wherever you are. I'm gonna eat this bread. Greetings, Witcher. Oh, is she naked? Of course she's freaking naked. See, she's in a pond. We can see if she floats, and then we'll know if she's a witch. Missed a spot. Where? Hope you didn't come to court. No. To talk. Turn around and wait. She got naked really quick, like I mean, it did take us a little bit of time, but not that much time. I suppose if you can do that, it doesn't take that long to get undressed, though. Now that I think about it. Kira met deep in the heart of Velen. Thought you hated the countryside. I can assure you I do. Now more than ever. Heard a witch lived out here. Never would have guessed it was King Foltest's former advisor. I'm so pleased the world's still able to astound you, Geralt. I actually envy you that sense of wonder. Common in children, knights errant, and morons. Ooh. Someone's Six burn. irritable. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I mean, she did take her clothes off for you. Greeted you with a pleasant view. See? Now tell me what brings you here. Right. Let's find out what she's doing in Velen. So... Bet you saw this question coming. What are you doing here? Let me think. Enjoying the country air? Admiring the unspoilt scenery? Or is it furthering the age-old alliance between the city and its breadbasket? No. I'm in hiding, Geralt. Blind to the state of the world? Don't you see what's happening? You mean the persecution mages now face? 
Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Radovid's new pastime. Pursuing anyone with a whiff of magic about them. Witch hunters. Sound familiar? Murderers scouring the north from end to end. Burning books, hanging soothsayers, torturing herbalists. I like the echo they've put in her voice. Also, Radovid on his player card, he has a lady in chains on a leash. I wonder if that's Kira. I wonder if that's like foreshadowing of what's to come. Freaking Radovid, man. I knew he was evil. I knew. Anyway, tell me more about Velen. Picked a strange place to hide. I didn't pick anything. In the north, Radovid's men hunt sorceresses like fish in a barrel. Nilfgaard controls the south. Where was I to flee? Emperor does keep mages on a short leash, but he lets them live and ply their trade. Radovid and Emma differ in every respect except one. They share a deep hatred of the Lodge of Sorceresses. And I was a member. Oh man. I want an entire like team of sorceresses. And then they could do my bidding. That would be fantastic. And then they could just randomly take their clothes off with magic because apparently that's what they do. So how's it feel to be the village witch? <sighs> Horrid. No joy in having the boundless respect and trust of the local peasantry? <laughs> They'd respect anyone who could produce hemorrhoid cream. Been here a while, haven't you? Long enough for rot to set in. You cannot possibly imagine how much I detest this place. If she can teleport to, like, this sneaky, like, forest pool, then why doesn't she just hide here? Changing the subject. Any news of your sisters from the lodge? None. We can't know too much about one another these days. It's safer that way. Even tried to contact one another? I've wanted to many times. But I've no way of knowing who would answer. Or who might be listening. See ya. Let's just leave. Just be like, see ya. I'm done with this conversation. Now we'll, we'll ask about I'm Siri. for a certain young woman. Oh, really? Who? Apparently she quarreled with the local witch. <laughs> Someone's been feeding you horse shit. The girls around here are too stupid to quarrel with you. She's not a girl around She's here. She's not from here. You're up to something, Geralt. If I'm to help you, you must tell me what's going on. Who are you looking for? Siri. Siri? Well, now I understand the secrecy. Not to mention the brooding, the furled brow. And do you say she had some sort of problem with a witch? So you haven't seen her? I'm certain I haven't. But recently someone asked me about an ashen-haired woman. He claimed she would stand out from the peasant crowd. Yennefer? Uh, let's find out what else he said. He say anything else about her? <laughs> Not so fast, Geralt. No humble plea. No offering for the witch. This is gratitude not good enough? Look My at me. undying gratitude. Good enough. It's nothing to sneeze at. But you've a knack for getting into trouble. I should probably ask for something more immediately deliverable. Oh, sod it. Don't give me that look. I know it's Siri we're talking about. It was an elf, this individual who asked about Cyrilla. No flea-bitten scoyotel slob either, but an elven mage. Ooh. Right, there we go. See, she, she appreciates my gratitude. I mean, Geralt doesn't strike me as the grateful type, you know, so she knows when she's getting a good deal. What was an elven mage doing in Velen? Well, I tried to ask him, of course, about everything. Of course. Oh, but you know how elves are. He asked many more questions than he answered. What was his name? I'm trying to so guess from Gwent cards. He didn't. And he wore a mask. Very secretive all around, but I liked him. He was intelligent and composed. He say what he wanted with Siri. Only that they were to meet in Velen. He wished to know if she'd arrived before he did. Maybe Shuru. I feel like Shuru's a mage. He burns things in Gwent, so therefore he's a mage. I'm guessing Shuru. Having not played Witcher 1 or 2, and I don't know, but he probably appears in those ones, but whatever. Let's continue this conversation. Any message for her? No, but he asked that were I to meet her, I should lead her to him. So you know where to find him. 
Yes, he said he found a hideout in some elven ruins near the village of Midcops. I'll go there with you. Why? Think I'll have trouble finding this place? I've unfinished business with this elf. He promised me something, but he never delivered it. Besides, oh my god, are the rabbits boning? <laughs> Like to see Cyrilla too. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. That's hilarious. Right, let's go. Let's go then. Yes, let's. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. That was interesting. CD Project Red. If that's what we're going with. Right. Let's get this over with. Who's the elf gonna be? It was a male, so no. it can't be Iglaise. I was hoping the elf would return as he'd promised, or else his waif would appear. At any rate, I've no idea what to expect from this place. Well, let's find out. I'm gonna guess bad guys. Follow Kira. Okay. Let's go then. I'm hoping that she follows me, and that I don't have to, like, wait for her. Ooh, fruit. Delicious fruit. <laughs> Just like, ooh, fruit. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Puff bowl. Uh, I guess there's nothing else to grab. I should probably draw my sword. Like, we're going into a cave. The Wild Hunt. Uh oh. Phantom Riders? That means. I, I thought they didn't exist. Feast your eyes on the non existent then. So if. Got a navigator with them. New card! That's a new card for open beta. Wild Hunt Navigator. Duh. It lets you draw. Or spawn, summon a wild hunt card. Teleport us home. Do you really mean to follow them? Teleport. Hurry up. That's fine. I got this. We Gucci. I'm not sure I like any of this. Oh shush you. Wild hunt navigators can only summon stuff that's already in the deck, so we just gotta believe it's not in their deck. Can we teleport? Because otherwise I'm gonna have to go fight that thing over there. Ugh, ugh. That does not look healthy. Are we there? I wonder where Kira is now. Told her she didn't like told told you she didn't like portal. Use your witcher sense. I'm gonna draw my sword at the same time. Damn, you're ugly. Drowners! And then we'll just stun one of them. Whoops. Missed. Scrub. Ah, missed again. Oh, he hit me that time. Come on, just hit him. Problem solved. Right. Kira can wait. I need to loot these. Like, if she's dying, it's fine. Like, it's more important to make sure we have a good supply of drowner brains. Uh, oh, do I have to swim? He did. I can't loot him. I guess maybe I already did. Okay, Witcher Sense. Let's go. Ooh, a crate. Right, down we go. See, the good news is the drowners are dead, so they can't drown me. Let's loot this while we're at it. Ooh, diagrams. I can make hunter's trousers. I wonder if, like, fashion... You know, like, fashion souls for Dark Souls? Like, fashion witcher exists? Like, where you tech him out in the suavest of gears? Like, there's fine clothing that the Nilfgaard gave me and I promptly, like, sold. Oh, yeah, I was meant to be using my witcher sense. Hmm... It's quite dark in here. What's that? I want to go right. I feel like there's something good, but it doesn't seem like I can go that way. The map lies to me. Ooh, what's this? Olives! Oh my god, we got dried fruit and olives. This is going so well, you guys. Right, we'll go around to the right then, I think. Because this looks like a dead end. She's clearly not that good at spells if we didn't end up in the same place. I'm just going to put that one out there. Oh, fine. Right, let's see if I can stun this one and take him out before his friends show up. Oh, I'm in, I'm in the fog. Uh-oh, let's get out of the fog. None of that. Eat some food. He's dead. You're dead. And you're dead. Look at that. Oh, wow. The water effects with the blood. I really 
Like, a lot of games don't put those kind of touches in their game. Oh, there's another one. One sec, let me just stun him. Nice try, but not today. Not today. Right, where was I? Ah, oh, yes, looting. Take your brain. I wonder if there's a way, like, through the fog that doesn't kill me. Oops. What's my time limit? There's, like, a red bar. I guess that's, like, my angst. And I guess the more angst I have, the, the more damage I do, potentially. So I'm hoping we can go around this way, which seems a little bit safer. Yeah, see, that, that kind of worked a bit better. Then we're not in the smoke. Let's eat some more bread. Kira? Where did she go? She tried to teleport me from here, didn't she? I don't know. Uh, this way, apparently. Okay. Oh, man, look at all these, these mushrooms. We can just have a wee break. Grab some mushrooms. Kira? We'll find her. Chill. Don't you worry. Bad guy. Ah, oh, that's convenient. As soon as I as soon as I approach, she gets attacked. Rats! Oh no! It's just rats. It's literally rats. I killed them. What is the big deal? To destroy a monster net, you need a grap shot, salmon, or dancing star bomb. Face the nest and press A to blow it up. Do I have to craft them? I guess I have to craft them. Alchemy? No, it can't be alchemy. Or maybe it is. Bombs. Haha! -ha. Apparently I have everything I need to make this bomb. You're- that's awfully convenient. Oh. Can I only make one? And then... I guess the parts are probably nearby. Oh, let me kill the rats. One second. Yeah, but it's fine. Got lots of herbs. Can I destroy this nest? Oh wait, I've got my sword out. Maybe I won't, can't destroy it when I've got my sword out. Give me a second. Oh, there's herbs all around here, so I can probably gather the herbs I need. Uh, let's just blow this up. You don't have the right bomb. What now, you piece oh, with signs, which maybe I can use Ard. If I could, like, stop killing rats. I'm not sure what sign I need to use. Right, let's try again. Maybe Igni? Ah, go away. Freaking rats. Enough, enough. They better add rat as a card. Like, that would be fantastic. Right, uh, let's see. Maybe we'll try Igni to begin with. Hey, it worked. All right, that's much easier than using bombs. I can't believe she's freaking out over some rats. And I'm pretty sure, like, Ness can only have a finite number of bombs. I like how she's like, thank you, and there's a, you there's a rat right behind rats. her. Could have annihilated them with one spell. Fine, won't say anything. So what happened to you? There's something here. Something that distorts teleportation. I've no idea how they managed to get to the other side problem-free. Wild Hunt's teleportation magic is different. Got specially trained mages for that. Navigators, they call them. They can have three helmsmen and a parrot for all I care. I'll not risk that again. Let's go. Wild Hunt got a good head start on us, but we still stand a chance. Have you gone completely mad? We must leave here at once. Oh man, she's so hysterical. If you're scared, turn back. I'm gonna go on. Stop it, that's emotional blackmail. Yep. You'd really worry about me if I went on alone? You? I'd be concerned for myself. Then come with me. Just quick decision, come on. Come on, chop chop. Very well, have it your way. How did I ever let you talk me into this ridiculous expedition? Eternal gratitude. It's, it's worth a lot. Explore the elven ruins and look for information about the mage. Okay. Right, off we go. Now we can gather all these herbs while we're at it. Ooh, that looks spooky. That's him. That's the elf. 
Follow the sign of your sword. What does what that even mean? That? An illusion? No. A morphotic projection. Oh, that's really clear. What projection? Something akin to a post box for mages. Much safer than an ordinary letter, which anyone can intercept en route to its recipient. She's kind of gotten over her fear quite quickly. Message was definitely for Siri, daughter of the Gull, Laura Doran's heir. Indeed. It is what the elves would title Siri. But what was the bit about the sign of her sword? A riddle? Yeah, not a hard one, though. Not if you know Siri named her sword Tsireo. Swallow. Heh, <laughs> come now. Who aside from you would know that? Might have been the point. Your elven mage secured the passage, hid it, so that only Siri could find it. He failed to foresee that someone like you would show up. Nevertheless, I think he was expecting uninvited guests. Made some preparations. Let's hope the wild hunt ran into some obstacles. Well then, let's go. Do you think following the swallows will suffice? We'll see. Okay, onwards. Back this way. Ooh, one second. I definitely need... Why are so herbs so, like, awkward to pick up in this? You have to, like... Apparently this is not close enough to gather the ingredient. Jesus Christ. An old elven hoard. It must have been how they got here by sea. I wonder how long ago that was. This does not Careful. sound good. That oily yellow vapor, it's toxic. I hardly need instruction from you. So why is she a potion I icon? The hey, she said my name. Uh-oh. Uh, Wraiths aren't too bad, but they, they, uh, there we go. I was going to say teleport behind you. So you have to be ready to dodge when they do that. Ow. I forgot it's like a double dodge, basically. All right, let's loot these real quick. Get some wraith essence. Hmm, is there a way I can do this without going in the smoke? <coughs> Apparently not. Is Kira helping? Is it dead? No, dodge twice. There we go, and then you hit it. Nailed it. Where's it gone? It's over there. Oh, I'm in the smoke again. I honestly think I've taken more damage to like smoke than I have to this bad guy. Uh, I can't really afford to go loot them. Like, I don't want to walk into this, uh, this poison gas. Also, my sword sharpening is about to... Oops, is about to wear off. Is there something we're meant to find in here? Explore the ruins, uh, follow the swallow symbols. Okay. <coughs> Jesus Christ. I'm not seeing anything. That's there. Maybe up here, but surely you would have spotted it from here. Yeah, nothing at all. Explore the ruins and follow the swallow symbols. Maybe we can climb over this and go up this way. A swallow. Where? Seems we're headed the right way. Okay. I'm gonna trust you on this one. Seems like I just had to walk there and then it triggers it. Hey look, a wall. Right, I'm bored of I'm bored of gathering herbs, basically. <gasps> Come on, Kira. Climb faster. I feel like we should probably use our witch sense. I swear I turned the fisheye thing off. I guess this isn't quite fisheye, but I thought that it didn't zoom in so much. Right, what's over here? Look, it's rather similar to that other pillar with the projection. The obvious route is not always the best. Yeah, you just said that. What is Kelpie? Does he mean that sea monster? No, that's what Siri named her mare. Horse could apparently gallop like a demon. Hmm, <laughs> good name for a horse. So, should we look for it? So we have to find her horse. Seriously? I'm guessing we don't jump down this pit. Hmm. 
Can't see a freaking thing. You know that. Screw it. I wonder what all this means. We definitely have to go in the pit. Right, down we go. This is definitely the way to go. I don't know how to get back up if it's not, is the problem. So hopefully this is the way to go. Can I get out here? Yeah, I can. Um. Kelpie. Is the horse? Oh, it's a picture of a horse. Another horse. I thought that was a horse bone. Like the last one. Let's see what this does. Garrett, I don't know what you did, but it worked. Come back here. Oh yeah, I'm great. I don't know what it's done, but there we go. Look, they're opening. Ooh, this is where the wild hunt is following us. Like, if I were the wild hunt, I would hide and then follow the people who seem to know what they're doing. Well, coming. Well, now I know what distorted my effort at teleportation. This very portal. And I know why I landed in that drowner nest. You should be pleased you emerged from the portal in one piece. And everyone still wonders why I hate to be teleported. Told you. Try to activate it. So do I have to do something? I guess we'll use our Witcher sense. The sooner we can leave, the better. Well, this doesn't really help us. Geralt! I'm gathering ingredients. Chill. Oh wait, wait. What was that? Aha! There's a bird. I think that's a swallow. Looks like a pigeon. Sure, it's safe. Of course. The Elven Mage prepared this passage for Siri. Come on now. Oh, she's just gonna wander in. Okay, guys, I think this is a good enough place to leave it. So next time we're going to enter the portal and inevitably something bad is going to happen. Um, but if you like this episode, hit that thumbs up button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And beyond that, have a fantastic day. I hope you're enjoying Gwent Open Beta as much as I am. Um, but that's about it. Have a fantastic day. Catch you next time. Bye.